8.26 encapsulate name. We want to make sure that we've completed these other self checks beforehand and it'll help us out here. So it's given us this code and we need to modify it. We want to encapsulate the name class. So we need to modify the existing code shown below to make the fields private. Let's start with that first. So we have our method header right here. We want all these to be private so they can't be accessed outside of the method. So I'll make a private string first name, a private character middle initial, and then a private string last name. So we also want to add accessor methods once we've done this so that we can still look at these variables. And so what are accessor methods? Accessor methods, we've kind of gone over that in the previous video. It's in the playlist link below the like button. But going over that again here, accessor methods get any private fields. It allows us to access them without the possibility of changing them. So of course, these are going to be public, right? Because we want to be able to access them outside the method. They are going to return whatever is being asked for. So for the first one, it's a string. So we'll do public string, and we want it to be called get first name, no parameters. And then inside of here, we just want to return our first name. And we're gonna end this. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna copy and paste this down here. We do have to make a slight altercation to our middle initial because it is called it is a character, not a string. So we have to change the return type. We'll change the name to be middle initial. And then we want to return middle initial. We're gonna do the same thing, but for the last name. So we should just return last name and then change this to get last name. And that should be pretty much it. Our function is closed and let's press submit. Oh, we gotta log in first. Let me log in, come back here, submit. And it did not pass the test. So uh, we're missing method get last name. See, I might've misspelled it which I did an extra T let's press submit. And if you have any questions, of course you can always leave them in the comments below. We've passed four out of four tests. This is the code. And that is the answer to this practice it.